Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a zero-day MySQL server vulnerability. I alluded to this story yesterday, but recently a researcher from LegalHackers.com released details about a previously unknown and serious vulnerability in MySQL server. Now, I won't go into a ton of details about the flaw, but basically it's kind of an elevation of privilege and remote code execution type of flaw. Basically, if an attacker can send specially crafted queries to your SQL server, he can actually write to the MySQL config file, which in the end will allow him to pretty much gain full control of your server with root privileges. However, there are some mitigating factors here. There's two different ways a bad guy might exploit this. First, if he has some sort of a MySQL query connection to your server, he can actually directly send queries, assuming he has some sort of user credential, even if it's an underprivileged user. Now, obviously, most administrators don't actually expose uh, the MySQL ports to the internet. So this is kind of a corner case. However, another easy way to exploit this is through SQL injection. If your web application has some sort of way to send queries to your server and you have some sort of SQL injection flaw in a web application, it's another way that this flaw is exposed. And if that's the case, through some web application, a bad guy might be able to gain full remote root access to your server. Now that said, there's some other mitigating circumstances as well around file permissions and things like that. But in this particular alert, the uh, researcher also pointed out that he'll be sharing details about other elevation of privilege flaws in the future as well. Now, unfortunately, the researchers released details about this flaw, including some proof of concept code on how to exploit it before Oracle has had time to patch the flaw. Now, he didn't do this maliciously. Apparently, two other SQL servers, ones that are based on MySQL called MariaDB, and Percona DB have the same vulnerability. And those particular packages have already released a patch for this. And when they released a patch for this, they started exposing details about these flaws. So the researcher thought he had to actually release his details as well. That said, if you are a SQL administrator, while you can't patch this today, the researcher does propose a few workarounds in the bottom of his alert. He talks about ways you can actually change configurations and permissions on this particular configuration file. In any case, if you're a MySQL administrator, this could be a pretty serious issue. You want to pay attention to when Oracle releases this patch, and I'll try to inform you in one of my videos. On top of that, make sure you're not exposing the MySQL network query connection to the internet, and make sure to check your web applications for SQL injection flaws. Anyways, pretty serious vulnerability, definitely one to patch for the future. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.